So, Acaria has come out with the P2 motion sensor. It's still PIR, so no MM Wave on this one. They already have that in their other product. Um, now, the one thing you'll notice different right off the bat is built on thread. And then matter. Now, the whole thing of that matter is this is not Wi Fi over matter. This is going to be thread, which is kind of like Zigbee. So you will need like an additional adapter or something else that speaks matter for this, such as like some of the Google Home devices, the Amazon Echoes, etc. You can check the specs on all those. I think even some of the Apple devices also have thread upgraded on them. So you will need that to utilize this device. So make sure you have that first. Now I'm running Home Assistant and I'll do later, I'll show how I set this up and tested that with using the Sky Connect. And no, I don't even run HOS with this. So there's that. So what's different about this is, well, uh, not really a whole lot. Here they are. <laughs> which one's which? You don't know, right? Well, turn them on the back, party on the back, and yeah, you can see which one's different. This one has that little QR code. I'm not sure if that's the QR code that you actually have to scan. Um, they do have one in the box. So yeah, it is kind of a pain to, you know, it's not like the Zigbee days where you just went on your software or whatever it was and held down a little button. Well, now you got to get your phone, you got to scan the QR code, and then you got to dance around and you, you rub your head and your belly at the same time in different directions. And if the thread gods treat you correctly, then you can scan this and it goes into your smart home and you'll have motion and light. And I think that's just about it with just the motion and the lux on this. So um, there's not really anything different with these. Now, I, the Zigbee one, I previously did not get a really decent test out of that. I don't know why, maybe it was a you know first model, but I've had really good luck with the Matter one. Um, I put it in actually in my laundry room and we go in there a lot and have no issues with it triggering. I can actually pivot it. It has a pretty much a 180 degree angle. I'll look up the exact specs on this. See what it says. Does not say on the box, but I've had to actually pivot it away because we were walking by the door and it would trigger the light to go on. So it was nice being battery powered. I could just move it basically where I wanted. Now they had this one. This was the original one. This was Zigbee or kind of Zigbee, and uh, you can see it's a little bit taller now because they add additional batteries in it. So there's two, I think it's a, are these like 2450s, I think. So these are gonna be the 2450. They do come with some decent, you know, Panasonic batteries, little coin cells. Now myself, I do prefer the whole AAA game it just makes things easier, but of course that makes sensors bigger. So, but we'll pop that back in, put this guy back together, and hopefully it'll just come back and join up on my thread network, which was a whole different deal to try to figure out device. There's not a whole lot else. I mean, it's just a motion sensor. It's not like we're gonna figure out how to make a 30 minute video on this, right? Now size comparisons, this is a double A battery. Everyone knows what that is and it's not much you know different in the height and uh so it's a pretty small sensor they do give you and it looks like they have a second mount as well for a spare so you got this little mount that you can stick to here and it's just you know a little ball joint if you wanted to mount it on the wall or something like that for a bathroom so pretty cool little idea that they've done it's simple don't lose the book. You need the matter sticker on it, unfortunately. I'll check, I guess, and see if I can pair it with the sticker on the back. Because I hate to hang on to a book for a sensor because then I'm going to lose them. I and what if you got three or four of them? That really kind of sucks. I fooled it. How did I fool it, Owen? How? 
they still get you. See, it, I can pull it every time. Because Always. you're bigger. No, I shouldn't be able to do this. <laughs> it gets you every time. See, it triggers you every time. Okay, monkey, monkey. Hey, we're gonna be recording this. So, I wanna see if we can stay moving around. So we got 11 seconds on the timer and we'll stay, look, come see. We're gonna stay moving around. I wanna make sure that if you're in the room for some reason and you know, like say you're doing the laundry or whatever, you don't want the lawn, the light cutting out and you're doing laundry and you're putting stuff in the washer and dryer and getting all your nasty clothes done. And um, you want the light to go out, bro. So we got 39. 40 seconds. It has a one minute cooldown. So hopefully after one minute, we've been re-triggering it. Um, there is no way to configure that being right now being thread. I mean, there's no configuration that I know of unless they would go to expose that. Um, we still got one minute going, one minute, six seconds. So that's one of the things that I saw that I would like to see different if they, maybe if you pair it with their hub, but then it puts it in the cloud and that kind of does away with the whole thing that keep it local, right? So maybe there will be some additional stuff to come into Home Assist and everything where we can do the configuration of these and change up like the cooldown period, the sensitivity, etc. So... But all in all, fairly decent sensor, no issues. But hey, it's, I think things are kind of new in the world of thread. So hopefully no one throws a fit about me kind of walking around the room and trying to make a motion and everything. But, uh, and come on up here, buddy. Get, you don't stop going downstairs. So um, that's going to do it for this one. Do appreciate Akaria for sending the sensor for review and letting us play around with some Thread Matter stuff. And I do appreciate all the YouTube members and Patreon members. Definitely couldn't do it without you. And you know the drill. Press all them buttons. And y'all take care. But wait! There's more! All right. So how the hell did I get Thread into... Home Assistant, and yes, I do not run HAOS. So it might be a little bit easier for you out there. And even if you don't run Home Assistant and you're just using like, you know, Google Home stuff or Amazon Alexa stuff, you can just probably pair that straight up and scan the QR code and call it a day because they kind of make thread and matter kind of seamless in those devices. But then you're kind of putting your stuff in the cloud. Home Assistant, we keep it local and keep it ours, which is a thread protocol. So you do get the Lux value and it does work as you can see throughout the day. I had this in my laundry room, kind of been using it for to, you know, turn the lights on in there. I wanted to test this production to see how well it didn't work or did work and it worked fine. Then, you know, same thing, you do get the occupancy or cleared. Like I mentioned before, you do have a one minute uh, cool down and at this time, when you come in here to integrations and it's under matter and there's a Acaria, I keep wanting to say Aquaria, Acaria motion and light sensor P2. Um, I don't, there's no other stuff for, you know, to connect to it. Like, you know, there's no, nothing here to say, Hey, I want to adjust the cooldown or whatever, like you would with like Zigbee devices. So I guess maybe when this kind of catches up, that'll get there, but do remember that going in that you're using the latest bleeding edge. I mean, they even call matter beta still to this day, even after what, almost a year and a half or more. So I'm going to lean more towards Zigbee stuff, but Hey, how did I get here? It's been a difficult road. I am using that, you know, sky connect deal. That's an EFR chipset. I did add it in using the Scilabs multi-pan, I think it is. They do have that as an add-on in HAOS, but for the Docker container people like me, I had to add it separately. And that's this one here, the Scilabs multi-pan. And the guy B2 Uno, I think it is, he actually did one 
I use this closely based on what Home Assistant runs, and I don't know why Docker Hub isn't working. You always screw me up when I'm recording videos, right? Let's just Google this. This does, you know, he talks about some of the stuff here and everything. It's not bad to install. He has the Docker run stuff. He has the Docker compose stuff here, how to set it up, et cetera. Um, I did it in Unraid. I probably will put this template up there after that, just because I know people want to play with thread devices and don't get confused just because it says matter. You need to be thread as well. Thread it's like matter over thread, and then you have matter over Wi-Fi. Don't get that confused. Matter over Wi-Fi, you don't need any of this. You just need the matter stuff inside of Home Assistant, and you pair it up on your Wi-Fi. Kind of the same procedure, but it uses Wi-Fi for that instead of actually the thread thing. I know it gets confusing. It's, why does it even matter? Um, I'm sure we'll have plenty of jokes that matter before too long about the whole matter. Um, and I'll see myself out. So the, I, I'll go through some of this. If you want to see some of this stuff, hit me up on Discord, and I'll probably put this template up for uh, Unraid users, but maybe that'll all be, you know, null and void by the time we get there. You watch this video, it'll just be right there in the App Store for you Unraid users.